Welcome to another video. I have not done a Christian Louboutin video in, in over a year. I'm gonna share with you my collection as it currently stands, talk to you about what shoes I'm selling and why, and also I wanna share with you my newest two pairs, which some of you who saw my vlog about three weeks ago will have seen. I was invited to meet the Mr. Christian Louboutin himself. I nearly died. Like, I, I didn't think that was gonna happen. And he was the nicest person. He signed not only the box, but he also signed the red sole on one of the shoes that I'm gonna show you. And these are both from a limited edition collection, by the way. I'm gonna start with boots. I've got four pairs of his boots. The oldest pair are these. These are called Belba. You can't get these anymore. I got these in 2015. If you are a fan of Christian Louboutin, personally, I now can't go over a 100 millimeter heel. I used to be able to do the 120s, and at a push, if I'm going out in the evening, I still can. But the 100s or 85s for me are most comfortable. They are true to size. So whatever your usual size is, you don't have to size up for it. I am pretty much always at a 39 and a half, but on quite a lot of his shoes, I take a 40 for comfort, but on these, I didn't need to. I don't know if you can see, but I have worn this shoe to death. I drive in it, I take the tube in it, I do everything. As you are unable to get those, I wanted to show you this next pair, which are here. These are current and these are called, I forget the name of all of these, so I'm just gonna put the name along here. But these are, um, these are a boot that you can wear in two ways. You can either wear them like this with this bit stuck up or you can fold these bits down. There's a different type of fabric on each side. On the inside, it's black velvet. On the outside, it's all suede. And you also have this satin here, so you can tie this into like quite a cute little bow. I love the way these look. I personally, I like wearing them with skinny jeans, or I've been wearing them a lot recently with quite fitted leather trousers. And I, I like the way that bit sort of bulges out at the foot. As someone who doesn't wear skirts all the time, in fact, I pretty much never wear them. I do sometimes, but I don't feel comfortable. But if I'm wearing like quite a masculine pair of trousers with like a jacket, let's say, I can put that on and I still feel, what's the word? I guess sometimes I feel a bit tomboyish and I want to, I want to look feminine, but not in a frilly sort of way. Now, if I give you a, a little view there, can you see what I mean? It's, it's in fact the same shoe. It's just that on this one, it's got the bit that sticks out at the top. So provided that you like all of this extra stuff going on, or maybe you have this boot and like me, you wish they brought it back, but they didn't. Then this one is out at the moment. They are exactly the same. They're exactly the same shoe. The other boot that I have are these. They are another 100 millimeter heel. Now I look at them. I keep buying shoes where this part all looks the same. Does that look a bit the same? It does, doesn't it? I do it because they're so comfortable. And that, for me now, is, is what I want. I want something that looks really nice, I feel good in it, but it's comfortable and I can actually walk around. So that's why I tend to go for this shape. And also, I find that the thicker heel feels more comfortable. Now, one thing that I've noticed is sometimes when I buy his shoes, it says 100 millimeter. But if I compare it to a different shoe that's 100 millimeter, they're not always 100 millimeter. This heel is ever so slightly higher than all of the other ones I've got. I know it because I've stood them up before and I've looked at them. These are 100 mil, but when I wore them, I was like, they felt higher. And then when I sort of compared them, they are in fact, they're probably about half a centimeter taller, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I think that it does add when you're on your feet all day. This is quite a good boot if you maybe have shorter legs. That detail down there almost elongates the leg and it makes it look longer. Now for the final pair of boots, and I have not seen these in so long. I need to get these out and wear them some more. This is my one and only pair of Christian Louboutin boots that are longer legged. These are not quite a knee high, they're a little bit lower than that, but I absolutely love 
the slouchiness of them. What makes them so comfortable is the fact that they've got that wider toe box area there. These are slightly more almond. If you want to get a pair of his shoes, that are as comfortable as possible. And let's be honest, few of them are, because they're not designed for that, they're designed to look nice. I always think go for something that's got a slightly rounder toe. The more pointed they are, the more they pinch. You could even give up the pointed toe and go for a higher heel, or get a lower heel with a pointy toe. Do you see what I mean? Because one or the other they hurt, but you can swap one out for the other. Hopefully, a lot of these are still available. I got these in the spring, summer of this year, 2017. These are called Bomi, Bomi Deer, I think they're called. I wanted something that was nude. They are comfortable because they've got a rounded toe. They're a bit like Fifi. If you know Fifi and you, you're good with that shoe, then these are quite good because they're very similar. I'm looking at Fifi now. I think they're slightly more pointed. The next shoe, and there is a story behind these. These are Fifi. Does anyone remember in, it was 20, was it 2012 or early 2013? Christian Louboutin did a fluorescent collection where everything was in loud, luminous colors. This is from that collection. On camera, I think they look a, a bit washed out. When you see them in real life, they sort of semi hurt your eyes to look at. I had been out with David, my husband, one day, and I had this new job, and I was just having a really bad time in it, to be honest. I buy all of my own stuff. I never ask my husband to buy me anything, even to the point where we'll get to Christmas and stuff like that, and he, I don't like asking for things. I, I don't need anything. And you know what it's like when you're an adult, by and large, if there's something you want, unless like it's a mansion and, a yacht there are things that you can get yourself and so when it came to well, anything like this I would just never ask for it we were out one day and I just felt really just felt really low with the situation at this job that I was hating and we were in Harvey Nichols in London I'd seen these shoes and I really liked them and I tried them on but I was like I don't really want to go and buy them because of this job at the moment I don't even know if I want to stay there like do I want to leave like financially I, I didn't want to just be like oh I'll buy a pair of shoes anyway Later, David came up to me with a bag and he bought them for me. And so when I look at these shoes, it reminds me of that time, but in a good way. And I will never sell these. I love them so much. Obviously, because of the color of them, you can't just wear them with anything. And I haven't worn them too much. I've worn them to a couple of summer parties where there was like grass, so there's like nothing on them. Fifi's a really good, comfortable shoe and Fifi is a style that is one of his classic range shoes. You can always get it, but because they're one of the mainline collections, what you tend to find is that every so often, he may do one in like a crazy color. Maybe it's for, for autumn, winter or spring, summer. And so you can always get it. But if you have a wider foot, I think that these are a good option. I have a wider foot and with these, they don't pinch so much. If you have a very wide foot, I would say go up a whole size in these. I have a 39, but I think that for comfort, in hindsight, I'd have taken a 40. If you want a pair of his shoes, good all-rounder, something you can always wear, then Fifi is a good option. What next? These are looking rather tired. These are my shoes that I wear on and off for work. <laughs> They're in such a bad condition. And I just, I wear them to death. They're just a black heel. 85 millimeter the most comfortable shoe i think you will ever wear because they are suede they give so easily they feel really soft they've got little um studs on them but to be honest because the studs are in black or like a pewter when you wear them you don't walk in the room and everyone's like oh my god you've got studs on it's like a, it's a really subtle difference and so I think, cause I work in like the creative industry, so I think if you work in a more creative environment or you work maybe in like an office environment where everyone's like a little bit more fashionable or you work in fashion, then I think that these are a good option. Obviously, if you work in a very highly professional white collar sort of environment, then you might not be able to get away with these just because of the red sole and you know, they do stand out a bit. They're actually quite big when you wear them. So I was going to get a size 40 because I said I wear them for comfort, but I, I took a 39 and they ended up being fine. I wanna really briefly talk about resoling them because I've had these both done. The way this goes is, can you see, they cut along there. So I'd worn these to death and the, the toe was all worn off as well. And I took these into Harrods. I'm gonna show you two examples here of what Harrods offer. 
they offer two different types of red sole this one is it, it's red but it's got a, like a logo sort of um embossed into it the other option that they have is this where it is a red, or in fact they do like so many different colours of sole, but you can pick the Christian Louboutin red. Transparent plastic that they put on there and it's said that it will never wear through. It always keeps its shine to a certain degree. But when I got these done, they, they gave me like a, I think he said it was like a lifetime guarantee or something. He said if they ever come off, bring them in and we'll repair it for free. They only go so far as that. You can't sort of go all up, all of the way up here. Not that you'd want to because that bit of your foot doesn't touch the floor. I know that there are quite a few different places that do this and the best way to look is go onto the Christian Louboutin website and on the, he's got, there's like a page on there that talks about where you can get the red reapplied and that is the best place to go for someone who is authorized to do it. These are the next shoe and this is my highest shoe. This is So Kate. I'm gonna give you there an example of a 120 versus a 100. So you can see there's there's like a fair difference there. So Kate is such a beautiful shoe. It looks so elegant when you wear it. But let me tell you, it's an absolute killer to wear. I don't know how anyone, please tell me if you watch this, if you can wear these all night, because I don't know how anyone can. When you wear them, at least when I wear them, I feel like I'm on the utmost tiptoe of my foot and it almost gives you a bit of a calf ache. Because the toe is so pointed, it really like pinches your toes in here. I've worn them out to dinner before. I got these actually for a New Year's Eve party. These are limited edition and I got them a couple of years ago and they've got iridescent glitter on them. I am currently in the market for selling these. They've not really been worn. I'm selling these simply because although they're beautiful, I don't wear them. <laughs> they're painful. I don't wear them at all. So I'm looking to sell these. And then the final shoe that I have before I move on to the new items, these are called, what are these called? These are Neophilo. These were like a one-off and they came out just before the simple pump existed. They've got a rounded toe on them and qu they're quite low here. They've got a tiny platform. Yeah, see that's got a 120 heel, but because of that platform there, they don't feel so high when you're wearing them. Calfskin or the suede, they're really soft. If you get anything in patent, that hurts as well, generally because they don't stretch as much. But if you like this sort of thing, then the simple pump is what you should look at. Now moving on to the exciting bit. If you have not seen this vlog and you would like to know what happened i'm going to link to it below and i'll also link to it at the end of this i was invited to harrods to view a new collection that had come out between christian louboutin and sabia sachi mukherjee from what they explained it's like a limited edition collector's line of shoes everything is based on bollywood sort of indian style there's lots of embroidery there's lots of vibrant colors all of the shoes have been made and like put together using off cuts of saris that Sabia Sachi's Atlia have collected over the years. So for example, you would get two shoes and they would both, for all intents and purposes, be the same shoe. But it's when you look at it close up, you'd be like, even my husband said to me when we were there, he, he said, oh, that, that shoe's different. It's just that the fabric they've used is at a slightly different angle. So it's really interesting. We went in to have a look and I couldn't believe it. Both of them walked in. I mean, we were sat there and even my husband who's obsessed with Christian Louboutin just said, I can't believe this is happening. I was at the till because I was gonna get these two pairs. They were selling like hotcakes. I'm gonna stop talking. Well, I'm gonna talk while I show you. So he signed the box and he's written to Sophie, enjoy and I know you will love Christian Louboutin. In each style, I think they had like one or two sizes. Completely constructed and put together using offcuts from saris. One of the things that I notice when I compare this shoe to some of the others that he's got is this, this shoe feels a lot more raw. Things like around here, can you see? You can see that the sole is constructed out of wood and you can actually see the wood running along there. Whereas on one of his regular shoes, you don't see that at all. I understand that this particular shape of shoe is one that's gonna be a long-term one and I think it's called Dolly. You could get this in a couple of different colors, but I really liked this dark blue here and the way it clashed with this. Now with the limited edition shoes that I've just shown you, both pairs come in their own box, which looks like this and it weighs a ton, I can't even tell you. 
and it lifts up as such. This is entirely, this is like material. When you open up this section, you have a book inside it. And in this book, it details the whole story of both of them, of how they came up with the ideas. And while I was looking around, I saw a second pair. From all the boots I've shown you, I've got a thing about this shape of boot where it's got a slightly like rounded arm and toe. These are velvet, not suede, and the details on them are really, really pretty. Again, this has all come from, from sari cutoffs and fabrics. So I got them and I was stood at the till. Again, you can see all of this in the vlog. Christian Louboutin walks over, he was talking to me, he then signed the shoe box of the first pair I showed you, and then he picked up these. And he signed the underneath of them. And I was so excited. And at the same time though, I thought, oh, I can't really wear these now. Now I, ha I did have many of you saying, is it not possible to put a plastic film over all of this? Well, when they do the plastic film, they cut along here and the, the furthest they can go is, is that. So they can't cover that bit up. Now he did it with a Sharpie. And yes, technically I could wear these, but the fact that he's done that, I don't really feel like I want to. If this had been you, please can you tell me what you do, whether you would also keep them. I mean, I was honestly thinking, I've got a glass coffee table that has got, that you look down into. And I was honestly thinking of sort of displaying these in a nice way because my sitting room's quite quite um it's greys and neutrals but it's quite fashiony and so I thought that would be quite a nice centerpiece because of the vibrant colours in it would break it up a bit so I was thinking of doing that. Before I go I want to show you what I'm wearing and mainly it's this blouse. I am absolutely in love with this. So it's a white shirt. The sleeves can be worn in two ways as well so you can either have them bent back like that where you see um the details. You can have them more forward like this. You look at it from the front and you're like oh it looks quite plain but what I like is it is cut so perfectly and then on the reverse you've got a load of crazy color that matches the the cuffs and I've just got it here with some jeans and I've got on those Neo Filo shoes I got this in a regular size 10 by the way so that's UK so if you are thinking about sizing and you want to know I'm still wearing that new watch that George sent me and this, I think this one's called Cassia. Now it comes in three different colors and I picked the ivory color. I don't know if you can tell, but on the ivory face, it's actually a little bit pearlescent. And then on the other wrist, I've got, I, I this is what I'm living for at the moment. These two bracelets are from Etsy. I'm gonna link to them below. One of them's got uh, a hammered silver heart on them. The pinky one doesn't. And then that's just like an Hermes bracelet that I've had for a while now. I'm gonna link to that Christian Louboutin meetup video and I'm gonna link to it here. So if you wanna come and chat some more and hang out some more, then go and give that a look. You can also see more of the items out of that new limited edition collection. Thank you again and I will see you in the next video.